All right, so today we are going to divide a four-digit number by a one-digit number, and it's going to have a remainder. So we are going to try this out the same exact way that we were working on yesterday using area model to come up with those partial quotients. So I notice that we have a four-digit number. I am using area model, so I am going to draw out my rectangle. Now you can choose to fill in your place value boxes, but you don't always have to. In this case, I'm not going to just to show you how to do it without filling in those place value boxes. So we're dividing by eight. Our divisor goes down on the side. And now I'm going to put my dividend inside of my box and I'm going to draw my line because that's my first my first thinking, I need to get as close to 1,546 using eight. What times eight can get me the closest to a thousand? I'm gonna be thinking of a thousand because I have a one in the thousands place. I already know off the top of my head that eight times a hundred is gonna get me 800. So I am going to use a hundred as one of my partial quotients. Now I'm gonna multiply one times sorry, 100 times eight, which gives me 800. And we know that whenever we come up with a partial quotient on top, we have to subtract. Now I have six, four, cross that off, it's 15, this is a zero, and seven. Now I have 746. I always remember to bring the leftovers to my next box. Now I'm gonna think, what can I use to multiply by eight to get to 746? I know that 100 is obviously gonna be too much because that gives me 800. I'm thinking about this number, seven and four, 74. What can we multiply by eight to get us really close to 740? I'm thinking 90. Because seven times, I'm sorry, eight times nine, 72. And I'm gonna turn this last digit into a zero thinking that it's 740. So I have to make sure that it's 90 up top. 90 times eight is 720. I'm gonna subtract again, because every time I subtract, I, every time I come up with a partial quotient, I have to subtract six. Two, zero, so now I have 26. I'm gonna bring it up to my next box. Now I need to get as close as I can to 26. I know that when I multiply eight times three, it's gonna give me 24. And I've gotta subtract once again. And now I'm going to get two as my remainder because I have no other place values. So I'm gonna add up my partials on top to get 193 with a remainder of two. And there is my answer.